we're looking at uh, some HR data. Uh, as you can see, we've got a HR dashboard here um, with some interesting metrics around here. It originally was visualized in SSRS, but we moved it to Power BI because it gives a richer, more visual experience and a bit more interactivity than uh, standard SSRS. So what we have here is an organization. We have male and female uh, ratios and actual numbers, a total. We've got uh, an indicator of people on maternity leave, leaves and starters, average years in service. We also got a couple of metrics around uh, absences, absence reasons, age range analysis, ethnicity analysis. And the great thing about this is obviously Power BI is very interactive. So you can click on March and everything will quickly update. So what actually we do, do have here is basically a, a JPEG with uh, Power BI elements overlaid with a new infographic designer. You can actually add these specific elements direct to the report. So it just shows you, you can have a visually rich and engaging report very quickly, and very easily. Um, this took about, uh, uh, about an hour and a half for our, our guys to mock up. This was using uh, some stock um, graphics and images to quickly generate something interesting. As you say, this was uh, originally a project for a um, local council who wanted to have a better visualization and better analysis of some of the absence reasons. Uh, along the bottom, you can see you've got a couple of uh, little small cards there, three in three months, four in 12 months, four weeks continuous sickness in seven days last year. They wanted that dashboard to trigger a particular HR process for absences. So if you had three absences in three months, you go down one particular process route. If you had long-term sickness, you can have return, return to work interviews and stuff like that. And uh, also management of, of, of a lot of absences the previous year. And it also gives you the, the best a good indicator of your absence level or target level and also the, the, the actual what is your biggest uh, absence reason as you can see from uh, the absence reason it's musculoskeletal and back pain and also electrosurgery injury and that will change uh, from the data throughout the month so if you go to April it was chest and respiratory nausea and vomiting migraine headache eye problems and blood disorders so if you have a particular high incidence of say for example back pain musculoskeletal you can write uh, hr process to training on lifting or um, uh, sitting or any other um, measures to reduce that sort of symptom 